It is all very exciting right now where I am because this year Liverpool John Lennon Airport is set to fly even higher. Of course we know about Jet 2, lots of other airlines, lots of other routes launching uh, this summer and over the next few months. So today we're going to give you a little insight behind the scenes and meet some of the team who are building up to take off. This is Liverpool John Lennon Airport getting set for a massive 2024. Are you feeling confidence? Because it is a big few months ahead. Yeah, look, I'm really looking forward to it. I think the whole airport's got a buzz about it again. I mean, it's quiet today, but everyone's sort of building up to, to Jet 2's arrival and, and the summer, really. So, yeah, confident, challenging, but, you know, we'll get there and we'll, we'll make a good deal of it, I think, yeah. What does it mean for the airport and for, and for the city? It's probably around about 600,000 extra passengers to us. So, you know, that's a big, big deal for us. But for the airport, it makes a massive difference. So, we've now got, you know, Jet 2 here, along with EasyJet and Ryanair. We're excited about the whole thing, really. So I'm the, I'm the airport operations director, so I'm pretty much responsible for most of the stuff that kind of moves, the stuff that doesn't necessarily make money. The primary target for us, as we're hearing from a lot of people in Merseyside, is please don't become a little Manchester. So yeah. we're, we're really, really focused on making sure that we continue to provide the level of service we have. 11,000 pints, that's how many were served right here uh, in departures at Liverpool John Lennon Airport in the peak week last September. That is unbelievable. Uh, Lucy, tell us what you do here at the airport. So I'm commercial director and I look after everything that makes money that isn't an aeroplane is the best description. All the activity in the terminal around duty free, food and beverage. Yeah. How are you getting ready for Jet 2? I, I think the plan that we've got in place for the next two or three years is going to set us up fantastically for passenger growth. I think the food and beverage offer will definitely improve and be elevated. You know, we've got some new units going in. We're relocating the lounge to a bigger space. Premium bar upstairs, I've just seen, you can see on screen now, some, some artist impressions. This is going to be stunning, it's massive. It's going to be a, a showcase unit and it's going to be our kind of, you know, best food and drink offer that we've got. So it's exciting, it's exciting and I'll be here in time for our Jet 2 customers, which is even better. Well, what do you want to have happened in 2024? What do you want to be able, what will make you rest easy at the end of the year? The, the number one priority for us is to continue doing what we've always done and that's providing brilliant customer experience. So 10 minute security queues, no delays, cars can be parked and you can walk through. All of that stuff has to remain our priority. So for me, delivering 5 million passengers next year is massive for the business. But more importantly, we want to make sure those passengers have had the experience that everyone's ever had here and want to come back every year. And, and so all of the stuff you'll see, building works, is designed to make sure the product remains intact. What are we doing about Jet 2? Because obviously, you know, more passengers, bigger queues, or, yep. or is things in place to, to, to stop that? So, so, so our target, our, our USP is 98% of passengers pass through in less than 15 minutes, and we, we um, all our planning is aimed at ma maintaining that target. You'll have seen uh, when you've been in the front of the terminal, there's already some layout changes there. There'll be self-service check-in kiosks going in, a new ticket desk. Um, so again, we've modelled that, that um, and, and that's showing that there'll be no significant queues first thing in the morning. Tell us about GTV because people love it, don't they? Yeah, it's our number one uh, retail unit. Sales coming out of there have been phenomenal. Um, and that's really been on the back of the Brexit change. So people can now buy tax and duty free alcohol and tobacco again. The experience that you get there is still of a premium quality, in, in my belief. You know, they're very good retailers and they're very knowledgeable around, you know, their products and the perfume brands, etc, etc. So. Uh, head of comms and PR here at the airport. Tell us about this. Yeah, this is a really good facility we're, we're, we're made up with this because this is a facility that passengers, particularly families who've got perhaps kids who've got autism, often we've learned, you know, coming to an airport is quite an experience and it can almost be just a bit too daunting for families. It actually puts them off travel. So it's been designed by people who really understand the needs of families and, and, and people with autism. Obviously, we've got more actual aircrafts. So how does that work? What's capacity at Liverpool John Lennon Airport? We've got capacity, as the study showed us, that to get up to about 7 million passengers without doing too much more in terms of extra concrete, etc. Um, what we will see is, because we'll have additional five additional aircraft overall parked here overnight, we will see one or two aircraft first thing in the morning that will require busing that perhaps didn't before the pandemic. Um, so we, ha we are in the process of hiring additional drivers, additional firefighters, all sorts of departments are, 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 are being assessed. How do you keep growing? Can you keep growing? There's more to come. You know, we've got a fifth-based Jet 2 aircraft already planned and on sale for summer 25. 
well. So we already, which for the first time we already know we've got growth, which is great. And we'd expect our other island partners to, to, to do some more as well, so. We've been here 30 years. You know, this year with Jet Team coming in, it's another kind of step change up so that even more people can take advantage of this airport. And yeah, I think we're very lucky that we've, we've continued that back journey. So I've seen it from what it was to what it is and hopefully what it's going to become even more in the next few years. What we do and what we've always done and make people feel like they're ready to go on holiday, friendly atmosphere, that's what you're going to expect and that's what you'll see. So please fly from Liverpool.